Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story and today I'm with Dennis Roxworthy and Dennis, you're going to enjoy him because he's going to have a bunch of fun cars on the channel for you to enjoy. So for our car friends, I've got something for them from our other friends. So Dennis, I've got uh, our friends at Gold Eagle have uh, given us some stable. So uh, it's Right now, it's a perfect day. This okay. is for you. Okay, thank you, sir. It's a perfect day, and I know that uh, pretty soon here in Chillinoy, we're going to be uh, needing that stable for Absolutely. our cars. So, so, so for you, it's stable for your stable of cars. Sounds great. Let's go take a look at the car we're featuring today. What are we featuring today? The 1955 Dodge Royal Lancer two-door hardtop. You're going to like this one. So here's our Royal Lancer. And that, well, the sun's beaming on it. We are in Chillinoy, so we do have a little wind today. It might seem a little like Kansas, but we're going to deal with some of that because, well, it's perfect out other than that. So hopefully the wind won't be too much of a bother. Dennis, you shared with me that uh, how many of these 55 Dodges have you had in your lifetime? Well, over the years, since 1968, I've had four of them. <laughs> Why four of them? Well, I just, the first one was a driver to go to work and back. And after I sold it, I was really sorry because it was such a good car. It was a four-door. You were sorry. I was sorry I ever got rid of so my car. you bought three more. Yeah, well, yeah, over the years. Yeah, right. I, I like the way you forgive yourself. <laughs> yeah, buy, 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 just, uh, you know, I don't feel good about it. I'll buy three more to get over it. That's awesome. <laughs> I want to have that problem. This is great stuff. I always enjoyed how they have the badging too. First of all, look at the chrome off the hood, down the side, sweeps into the quarter, and goes all the way out the back. That's good stuff right there. They used to call that sweetheart trim because of the dip in the molding. Sweetheart trim. Kind of like a heart? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Thank you. You got the little key there that moves over so you can. Put your key in there. I'll try to get that in the right, like that. I thought that was always classy. Nice, so that in the winter it doesn't freeze up. Nice V8, well placed, the right spot. Obviously, going along with the chrome. I like this little piece here. Always enjoy the details. Spinner hubcaps. Spinner hubcaps, yep. There's Which more. would have been an option on this batch. Is that right? It was standard on the custom Royal Lancer. Actually, it wasn't. It was an option on all of them. Our gas there opens this way. And there's our extra tone along with the large roof. And obviously, a hard top. Just wonderful. Now, this venting here, we're going to talk about that when we're in the interior. But that opens up almost like a 40s car. Right. Let's fresh air in. Let's the fresh air in. We'll come and take a look at the front of this one. One of the things I like about the front of this one is you get to see all three colors. Dennis, what are the colors on this one? It's white over Admiral Blue over Halo Blue. Halo Blue, Admiral Blue, and white. And the white almost has a little ivory hue to it. That is correct. It's not a white white, it's more like a... Creamy white. Yeah, creamy, like a vanilla. That's a great piece there. Those almost look like bumpers, mm -hmm. but they're not. Grill pods, they call them. Grill pods. Nice. While we're here in the front, let's take a look sure. under the hood, shall we? We've got the sunlight hitting it right. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, we just got done detailing this engine. Did you? Yeah. For, it, the, it, for the channel? For the channel? No, I just want the detail. <laughs> I was trying to get a. <laughs> I'm trying to feel good about that. For the channel? No, we just do that all the time anyway. <laughs> You're coming by. Who cares? That's awesome. I'm still uh, looking for the. Crap. The last person who told me that I married him. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Lou, I don't care about you. Okay, I'll marry her. That's awesome. And by the way, my wife usually watches all the videos with the sound off, so that's good. Is, is that right? Yeah, she's like, I just like the pretty colors of the cars. <laughs> I don't want to listen to her. Yeah. Right? She's like, I, 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 heard, I know, I know. Yeah, my car story, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I got 
Stop it. <laughs> wow, does that look great though? Now this it? is the Poly V8, it's not the Hemi. And they call it a Red Ram. On the Hemi it's called a Super Red Ram. Super Red Ram, right. got it. The Hemi was in the Custom Royal Answer. Got Cape it. Standard. Well let's uh let's fire it up, shall we? Is there a, a vehicle tag other than the one in the in the door or just oh, that's it? No, here, I'll show you on yeah, the cow. Sure. Here's oh, yeah, 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 there it is. There's all your stuff on the cow. That's what See, I mean. that's the original paint on the cow. See the crayon marks? See it right there? Yeah, Can you I see do. it, Lou? Yeah. Oh, that's great. So we try to keep the car as original as possible. Yeah, that's good stuff right there. Yeah. All right, let's uh, fire okay. it up and we'll uh, we'll keep this open. You want to keep it open? Yeah. And yeah, while I'm up here, what? might as well blow the horn. All right. The wind's doing a great job on us, so we'll compete against it. Yeah. This one, and you can see, wonderful. I really like how they put the white around the chrome trim rings. Very classy. Little reflector in the middle there. Great crest there, badge, the Dodge script. And a nice push button. Dennis, can we open this up? Because sure. we've got some trunk and treats mm -hmm. for them. Sure. This car so symbolizes 55, doesn't it? Kind of, yeah, absolutely. You know, with that roof has a uh, similar look to like the 55 Chevy. First of all, we show you the trunk, which is really nice. Got a little sound deadener there. We've got the tire. This this tire is not the original tire. It, it's the, the reproduction of the original okay, tire. Okay, the reproduction. I was yeah. going to say, yeah. uh, what, what? <laughs> okay. So we've got the two volume manuals here. Now this is interesting. There's a reason why we've got uh, two of these. And one of them is a early edition. And the second one is the later edition. And we also have this 55 Dodge Custom Royal V8 High Styled Aristocat. Uh, the Canadian road. It is. So let me first show you brochure one. And one of the reasons why we know this is the earlier one is they kind of went up with the lower valued model on the front. By the way, that's not the girl and the guy. We're talking about the car. And here, similar to your color scheme. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The 55 Dodge flashes ahead in style. See some of that. You're driving. You notice the roof is not white. Yeah, I didn't notice that. They, but made, they made them several different ways. Really? Yeah. And you've owned three of these. I've actually owned four of these Dodges. Four of these. <laughs> By time. You can't help yourself. No. And there's your blue roof again. Mm -hmm. I have never gone out in an outfit like that, but I wish one day I would. <laughs> if I have that outfit, Dennis, I'm going to come by. I'm going to grab my wife, and we're going to take your take, car. Take Dodge for yeah, a ride. we'll take the Dodge for a ride. We'll bring it right back. We'll get like an ice cream or something. There we go. 
See, there's the color it's flipped around on the convertible. See it? Right, yeah. Isn't that cool? Your Royal Lancer there. That's your top of the line model. The, the Royal one. Lancer. One of the reasons why you can see it is this chrome here. We've actually featured one like that. You can go to My Car Story with Lou. Custom Royal Lancer and see that one. That one's red. And uh, Frank Truce shared that car with us. <laughs> Thank God I've never looked like that. <laughs> Excuse me, dear. I'll just sit here and read a book on our picnic basket. That's great. Definitely wonderful. This is so much of the fun of the 50s brochures. Now here's your tritone car on the bottom. See it? Yes. White roof, black, and the rose on the bottom. Oh, that's good stuff. It's a little windy, so we're trying to keep the camera in the trunk. Nice. Let's go to the circus. Look how the 50s was. Look at the yellow interior with the green car. Yeah. Chevy did it also in the 55 dollar. That's interesting, isn't it? The waterfall. Beauty that carries its share of the load. What's the tempo in contemporary? Nice. Your super red, uh, super red ram there. Now that is true. That is exactly how you and I look when we drive in this. So we got a big silly grin on her face, just like she does. <laughs> We're very excited. You'll see that soon when we take it for a ride. And some of the specifications. I think. Your tritone car again. Yeah, your tritone. Future at your fingertips. Wearing our white gloves. page with the Coronet V8 and 6. Here's your big engine. Take our time on those specs. And your middle engine. The Super Red Ram. Alright, just seeing if there's any... This brochure I could feel right off the bat is a little bit thinner. And are of noble proportions, gallant and gay. <laughs> There's your chrome fins there. There's sitting back on the uh, picnic basket again, similar shot with uh, a little different there with the listening to your shell. I do see Another photograph there. Now that's how you go out on a night. See even the knight in shining armor over here with the Royal Lancer right there. Now you didn't see that. She looks serious. Dennis, if we see a girl like that getting in this car, we should actually stay home. Yep. Don't don't right. get in the car if the girl looks like that. You might get in trouble. We would definitely get in trouble. That would be a troublemaker right there. This is safe. So we'll try to keep you safe on the channel. There's probably some kind of a lesson there for all of us. And then the specifications. And you can see this is obviously not as big a brochure, but some of the similar photographs we saw in the last one. That's great. Let's uh, take a look at the interior, shall we? Shut this? Yeah, sure. May I? Go ahead. Thank you. Now the interior's original has never been restored. And that's a good door right there, isn't it? And it is. Lots of color, Not a lots detail. of variation. Mm -hmm. Look at the difference in the variation. The right amount of pedals on the tree, 
Let me give it the overall look. Lots of room. Nice headroom. You know, that was one nice thing about the cars in the 50s. You're greeted by the word Dodge. The bench seat. There we go. Even look at the material. How nice they did that, right? You have a nice crest right there. Greeted by a nice big speedometer. Your ashtray, your temp, your dodge. I'm going to show you how that ashtray pulls out. Like so. Dennis, what's this piece down here? That's for the cowl. There's a cowl vent on top, right in front of the windshield. Okay, shield, all right. And that opens up like an old 40s car. Wow. You let fresh air in. Got it, so okay. So that's our fresh air. So that's our fresh air vent. Now this is interesting. This obviously, if it would have been an automatic. That would have been where your shifter would have been. Right. An old spoon shift, just like that knob there. It right. It. Cool, Shelby warm Corvair on this side. did that when they came out. And obviously, this is our, this is our stick shift. Right here. And on this side we've got defrost and blower so all the heater options mm -hmm. on this side. Look how pristine that dash is. Yeah, touch. it really is. It's really... And, and even like the letters, I just want to highlight the, like the word fuel and oil. Yeah, this was the three owner car. I'm actually the third owner. You're the third owner. And the wipers and the tuner. Good stuff. Let's go take a look. Dennis, I think with this one, I, I think, uh, I'm just going to step over here for a second. Mm -hmm. I think this one, uh, it's time for us to take a ride. Sounds great. So I'm, so I'm here with Dennis, and we're here in the 55 Dodge Royal Lancer. Correct. And you were saying this one's a sweetheart to drive. Yeah, it's just a sweet car. It's a good highway car. You could drive this car to California and back. You really could. Now, you have quite a few cars, but this is one of your drivers. This is my driver. And that's because you've had four of them, so you're yeah. more comfortable with it? or? Yeah, I just, you have to have something to drive once in a while. <laughs> you have to have something and to it's, drive it's once in a while. It's not a trailer queen. It's just a nice number two show car. And you've got... Uh, You've got a lot of trailer queens, but these uh, yeah. these have always c captured your heart. Yeah. One thing that I want to show people that I think is really nice is that hood ornament. When you're looking out the front, you can see just kind of plugs that line. Like so, nice pointer. The new Dodge and the old Dodge. There you go. There we go. So Dennis, um, when you do take this one to a car show, What's the, what's the reaction? It always wins. <laughs> it always wins. <laughs> the number two car always wins. Yeah. Wow. I think it's because of the colors. and It's unusual. You don't see these cars. Yeah. And, you know, the, the young people are attracted. To, one thing that attracts young people is all the chrome. All the There's chrome. no chrome on the new cars. Not yeah. really. And I like how you're doing that with the stick shift, too, because that's our three on the tree. Mm -hmm. We'll show that in a second. Just let you enjoy a little of this ride. It's got a good sound. It does. It's got stainless steel exhaust on it. Is that right? Yeah. It was on there when I bought it. Somebody, somebody put some money on the exhaust. That was a good one. Yeah. I had all the chrome done on the front of the car, the, the bumpers, the grill. Yeah. No, it, it, looks... it was. It was. It was a little iffy, you know. Yeah, this is, I love that this is your day two car, and for everybody else, this would be their number one. Right. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, if I didn't have another car, this would be my number one car. That's great Go stuff. This sure. Dennis, well, what a treat. So much fun. Always a wonderful time with you on the channel. Thanks so much for being on My Car Story. You're welcome, sir. Thank you.